Dear Misty, everyone I know thinks I should do drag. My friends want me to do drag, drag queens around me want me to do drag, and I'm afraid to do drag because I know that it's hard to be in a relationship and do drag. Should I not do drag just for this reason alone? Please help. Um, that's a stupid reason. <laughs> I'm sorry. I didn't mean to call you stupid, but really. It's like saying, I don't want to become a police officer because it's really hard to be in a relationship if you're a cop. Or it's like saying, I don't know if I should become a firefighter because it's really hard to be in a relationship. There are a lot of jobs that are hard on relationships. All of them. Not all of them, but a lot of them. You work long hours. You work, you know seven days a week, or you have to travel, or your life is at jeopardy, or you might die in a fire, or you work undercover for drug whatever, does that mean you shouldn't do them? No. If this is something that you have passion in your heart, and this is something that you want to do, and you would be good at, and you think you can make money, or something that, even if you don't make money, it's something that you enjoy doing, then you should do it. Nobody is going to tell you <laughs> that you'll never have a boyfriend if you do drag because that's not true. I know lots of drag queens out there that have boyfriends. But yes, you're right. The gay community does worship masculinity. And there is a section of the community that's like, ugh, I don't want to date a drag queen. Why? I don't know. Maybe because the male ego is very sensitive and a lot of guys can't handle dating somebody that's famous. I don't know. But then there's so many star chasers out there that want to date somebody because you're famous. So I don't know. I, I don't know what to tell you to do. But I'm going to tell you, um, that's why I do drag. The exact reason you told me. I was a hairstylist. I was a makeup artist. And I was a theater major. And all those things combined, everyone was like, why don't you do drag? And we'd be sitting around at a party and I'd just be singing or lip syncing because we had to be quiet or whatever. I'd be like, people are like, you should do drag. You should do drag. I'm like, ooh, no. And granted, I was going to a Christian college, so that was a double no. But everyone's like, you should do drag. And finally, there was a dare between me and a drag queen friend of mine. Her name was Erica Shea. I don't know if anyone's ever heard of her. Um... I actually, after I moved, I never heard from her again. I don't know if she's alive or not, or if she's still a drag or not. I have no idea. But Erica Shea and her two roommates, who are also drag queens, were like, you should do drag. And there was a big bet between us, and I don't remember what it was about, but all I know is that I lost the bet. And the bet was, if I win, I don't remember what, what I got or what she had to do, but she came up with it because if I lost and the chances were stacked that I was going to lose, which is why she created the bet. But if I lost, I had to do drag for Halloween. So I said, fine, I'll do drag, but only on Halloween. And she did my makeup, and she helped me with my hair, and she helped me get dressed. And that's the only time ever that anyone has ever did my makeup for me, because I was a makeup artist, I just didn't know what to do. And when I looked in that mirror, I was like, First of all, I looked like my mom, which is funny because I looked like my mom even without makeup on. But I was like, oh my God, I'm my mother. And then I was freaking out because I was so gorgeous. In fact, I was so gorgeous, I should have won the Halloween costume contest against the amazing drag queens that get paid to show up. Granted, I look back now and I'm like, ooh, I was so busted. What was I thinking? There's no way I would have won. But in my mind, I was the best. But because of them pushing me to do drag, I now do drag, and you're watching my video on YouTube. So, I'm not saying you should do something because your friends tell you you should do it, but I am going to say if enough of your friends are convincing you or trying to convince you that you would be good at it, the chances are you'd probably be good at it. So maybe you should do it. And I don't think that you should go through life thinking, I have to have a boyfriend. Because you don't. You don't. And I'm not going to be happy unless I have a boyfriend because that's not true either. 
So suck it up. Put on your best face. And be happy. And that was an Ask Misty. Bye.